three times in half, especially in one area. Told me that they you know, got out, there would be no chance. The next week, you know, he's here at the church. We should have him the Loma Linda, and the same thing. You know, he always guarded himself. But he finally did give up. But he left a full life, you know, over. We should have a lot of patience. And when I told some of you, my wife went to live in Jordan. I was going to spend more than a week. About two weeks. So he really enjoyed his life here. And uh, let us remember that uh, what uh, Peter asked Jesus how many times we will forgive. He said seven times. Jesus said seventy times, seven times. So he knows that we are not perfect. But we know that uh, he is in eternal heaven. Now if we, we, that's the beauty of our faith. At this time, I would like any family members or family to say something. First off, I want to thank you all for being here. I'm uh, going to get a second of my pop, Colin Pop, short for uh, Pop. I think that's pretty amazing that uh, saying that is just so. And I'm pretty sure he's a He's appreciative of you, the presence here in your gathering. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I don't remember meeting any of you. I talk about Bernard, son of, uh, son of Victor, Bob, and uh, the youngest of three children. Um, that will be here tomorrow. will be at the uh, St. Joseph the Worker. You'll see him. He has another son, John. And, uh, from what I heard, he's in the Philippines. But uh, he's here in the Sixth Spirit. There's a lot of things to say about uh, my father, Bob. That uh, shines upon him. He's very, uh, he's very helpful to everybody. Known people, unknown people. For me, I remember um, when. Uh, Constantly got sick early in grade school. A lot of times I uh, I faked it because I didn't want to go to school. But uh, when I did, he always you know, took, took time off work every single time. I think he had to lie about what he had to do. But he's there uh, for me. And, uh, he even spent extra time. I, mean, I was already fully recovered, but. Uh, he still took a couple extra days uh, to be there for me. Also, um, there was a time in which he went on a business trip. He was about to go on a business trip. I think that was a time in, at which uh, I loved him the most because you know, I had learned about death uh, when I was about seven years old. Uh, he was about to fly off to, uh, I don't know whether it's Atlanta or in California, and I told him, please don't go. He was touched about that. He was touched about that flight that I told him, don't go, that the plane might crash, and he actually canceled that flight. And uh, actually, we were watching a movie together. I think it was uh, The Naked Gun or something like that. And, uh, there was like a, a scene there which they were at an airport and the flight was about to take off. So, uh, I mean, it's amazing how, how feelings are, you know. We're all human beings, we're all in this body, but uh, it's very touching how it, how it goes. Um, you know, another example of how he's extremely helpful to uh, people is, uh, there was a time about six years ago in which um, a son of this family was like in the neighbor two houses down over here in, when we were in San Bernardino. He, um, he donated money to this family because the um, family didn't have money for a funeral. He didn't know this family, but that was extremely nice. And I don't know if it's thousands of dollars that he donated, but that was something he did, that donation. And every time there's 
family or friends that need his math skills for taxation or not or help for those in the Philippines. He's always there. Well, we're going to miss that. He taught me a lot. I think um, the departure was fairly early. Obviously, I, think I consider myself as a kid, but you know, I think it's like a sign. You, know, you got to put yourself in that ready position whether you're ready or not. Got to see in that right position and move on. It's no longer the three of us. It's just been us three without the other two brothers. The spirit will be there, but I'm going to be assuming that role. I wish him well. I wish um, that he's free from suffering. That's the most important. And um, as long as I can get a sign that, you know, he's up there, you know, told me that he's up in heaven now. We just got to assure that we got to continue with our prayers. So hopefully, collectively, we can just continue on with our prayers. There's a, there's a poem that I wrote that I'd like to share with you. In that memory book. I'll go ahead and say it because my mom wanted me to say it. To recite it to all of you. I'm going to recite it again tomorrow if you want to attend Mass. Let's get this here. I should have memorized it by now, but I'd rather say it to you by using the script so I won't make a mistake about it. He met the beloved Natividad, who soon became his wife. He then told us, I don't think I can take this anymore, I swear. Late one early morning, Victor received a call from the Lord who told him, It is time for you to go to your well deserved rest. He then accepted the offering that everyone that went to speak on his best. 